Hi, welcome. Here's your Go Math lesson for 14.2, more two-dimensional shapes. So we are now going over two-dimensional shapes. That means two-dimensional means 2D. That means it's flat. It's not 3D. Okay. How can you identify the number of sides and the number of vertices of a polygon? A polygon is any shape where all sides are straight and connected. So here it says you're going to draw a hexagon and draw a pentagon. Yesterday we learned that a hexagon has six sides and we learned that a pentagon has five sides. So a hexagon has six sides. This is how you draw a hexagon. Watch me before you start. Draw a line at the top. That's one. And then from side to side, that's two. And then the other side, that's three. And then from here to here, that's four. And then five and then six. That's a hexagon. It has six sides, and if we count the vertices, it has one, two, three, four, five, six vertices as well. <clears throat> a pentagon is very easy. It's kind of like a house. So this is one, two, straight line here, three, straight line here, four, and then straight line across, five. This is a pentagon. A pentagon has five sides and one, two, three, four, five vertices. Pentagon. Okay, let's move on. <clears throat> a polygon is any closed two-dimensional shape with only straight lines. So it's a 2D shape that has only straight lines. So let's see how many sides and vertices this polygon has. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This polygon has seven sides and five, seven vertices. This shape is called a polygon. It doesn't have a name. It doesn't, it's not a pentagon. A pentagon is five. It's not a hexagon. A hexagon is six. This is seven. So it's just a polygon. A polygon can be any shape where it's all connected, it's closed, and, and two-dimensional. That means it's 2D, and all the sides are connected. Here, this is called an octagon. An octagon has eight sides. Octagon, you can always remember that because like octopus, octagon, octo means eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It has eight sides. <clears throat> Count the vertices, it's the same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight vertices as well. Make sure you're counting the sides and vertices like I am on your paper. It's important you understand. Here, let's count the sides and vertices. Now, we have all kinds of cool different shapes today here. So you have to count. How many sides does this have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten sides. And let's see the vertices. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, and 10 vertices. This is a polygon because it has 10. I mean, not because it has 10, but because all sides are connected and straight. Let's look at this one. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 sides, and I'm assuming 12 vertices, but we're going to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve vertices as well. Okay? All right, let's move on. Write the number of sides and the number of vertices for each polygon. So you're going to count each side and the vertices and write them down. Okay? Very easy. I don't want to do this with you because I want you to think for yourself. I'll do number one with you though, because it could be tricky, but I want you to do two and three on your own. So this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sides. And let's count the vertices. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine vertices. And then you're gonna do the same here. Count the sides and vertices for number two and three. Let's move on and look at four. It says write the number of sides and the number of vertices for each polygon. One, two, this is a side, guys. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sides. Let's see if it also has seven vertices. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven sides and seven vertices. Let's look at number five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven sides. I assume eleven vertices, but we're going to count anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. With shapes like this, they try to trick you because these are kind of hidden corners or hidden vertices, but they are a vertice, okay? All right, Kat drew these three shapes. She says they are all polygons. Is she right? Are these all polygons? Well, the square is a polygon because all sides are straight and connected. The octagon here is um, a polygon because it has eight sides and all sides are straight and connected, right? But what about this? Are, are the lines straight here on the circle? No, this is a curved or line, right? This is not a polygon. They, these are a polygon. So is Kat correct? Are these all polygons? No, because a polygon has straight sides in the circle is not, does not have any straight sides. That's all curved, all right? All right, let's move on. Let's look at number seven. Tim wants to draw a polygon with more than nine sides, but fewer than 13. So you're gonna draw a shape with more than nine, but fewer than 13. So a shape with either 10, 11, or 12. Those are your only options. Draw more sides to show a polygon Tim could draw. So you're gonna cho choose, you can either do a shape, a polygon with 10, 11, or 12 sides. And then you're gonna write how many sides you chose. You can choose any of these and you're gonna draw them here. Okay, now remember a polygon is where all the lines are straight. You cannot make a curved line. That's not a polygon. So they already gave us one, two, three, four, five, six lines and we're gonna keep going. So this is my shape, don't copy me, but this is mine. I'm gonna choose 10. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is my shape. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can make any, and I'm gonna write 10 sides. You can make any other shape. If you wanna choose 10, that's fine, but it shouldn't look just like mine. I want you to think for yourself, okay? And the rest is real easy. You're going to go ahead and do page 496 to 498 on your own. When you are done, you're going to work on worksheet lesson 72, more two-dimensional shapes, and then the page that's stapled to that, which is named that polygon, okay? And that's all you're doing for math today. If you have any questions, let me know. These lessons should be pretty simple. All right, I'll see you guys later. Have a good weekend. Bye.